Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm welcoming you on 4th of July 2022. My name is Shannon and it's been a while. If you, if you have been here and you're a subscriber, I thank you very much for hanging in there. I appreciate that. Um, there's a lot to talk about. I'll put the minute markers in the, in the description so you can skip around if you want to. But we'll start with my health because that's what kind of kept me off on the sidelines for about a month now, three weeks, uh, three weeks for sure. <laughs> and that is I had hernia surgery about three weeks ago. Everything went great. I've been waiting years to get it done because of the pandemic and all that other stuff and the difficulties with health insurance these days and all that. Done. They're trying to slow me down. I'm not going to slow down. <laughs> I can't believe, why would a doctor try to talk you out of surgery? It's like, I don't want your money. I don't get it. Well, I don't know why he did it. But anyway, that didn't work on me, obviously. Ready? Good to go. One more week of 20 pounds or less, and then uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. So that's the health thing. The big announcement, of course, is a huge change in venue for me. Huge. Going from here in Denton, Texas, about 30 miles from the uh, Oklahoma border, Back home to where I grew up, South Texas and Port Isabel, Texas, we're moving down there. I am. I'm still maintaining the home here. My wife is staying here. My dogs are staying here. It's going to be tough. But I'm going to be the general manager for a brand new store called Los Pescadores. Los Pescadores is a coffee and outfitter in downtown Port Isabel, Texas. And we are in the shadow of the lighthouse. This is a came to me out of left field. It's been kind of percolating in the background. That's another thing that's kept me busy. But here's the deal. This is going to be a heavy duty coffee shop. It's going to have clo outdoor clothing. It's going to have a heavy duty fly influence too. So there's not a fly shop within 130 miles. And even the one in Corpus Christi is not really, Roy is not exactly a fly shop. So, you know, we're going out there. We're staking our claim. And we want you guys that are down there or that make this your destination. If you're anywhere in Texas, I can fill in all the blanks and I'm going to start doing that this fall. The location, 419 Maxan Street, is where I'm going to be in Port Isabel, Texas. In the fall, we should be rolling in in the fall as the construction gets done with coffee for sure. And then I'm, I'm going to build in, as we go along, a outdoor outfitters that um, is very attentive to the fly fishing community. That includes clothing, some flies. I'm tying a bunch of flies right now. That's a whole another story shifting in my fly tying. Got a hundred dozen flies that I got to come up with by the time I get down there. So I'll be busy. Um, and they're saltwater flies tied by me. They're not imported from anywhere else but from these hands. So that's coming. Then, um, you know, establishing relationships and friendships, whether it's relationships with guides or friendships with guides down there, friendships with the local fly guys, which I know a lot of these old guys down there, but they're freaking old. <laughs> They are, I'm not hearing from them very much, so we might have to get some injection of youth into this thing. People have got the kind of juice that I got. But um, got to establish those friendships and relationships. And some of that will be with artists, too. We're going to have local artists like Larry Haynes. His work is going to be in my gallery. I call it my gallery, the gallery. Um, but I'm building an art gallery that goes in this that is, is a small, small percentage of, of what it's all about. But it's still a significant for the art that we're going to have. I mean, my list of uh, artists that are going to be in uh, Los Pescadores is already pretty impressive by my standards. And um, it's going to be really another factor in this, in this whole thing. Um, you'll see. Okay, so Los Pescadores, phase one, fall, uh, soft open, hard open, spring 2023. I'm the GM for that. Um, I'll give you my uh, local phone number in the bottom for that, which is uh, the number you would call me at if you're interested in anything to do with or sell anything to or got any information we need at Los Pescadores. Very cool. It's going to be great. 
you guys it's gonna be a thing where as I, I I've invested a whole bunch of, uh, of coinage into brand new camera Z9 Nikon I've got a, a drone and I've, I'm learn I know how to fly but I don't have my li 107 license yet so I've got to get that which is like daunting for an old man's brain and then um, we're going to integrate video and, and drone footage and things like that into two channels at least, Los Pescadores, and then also into the Texas Flycaster. Things will be like kind of woven together in some kind of way I haven't figured out yet. But that's what's going on. This, two, this YouTube channel is not going away. Of course, you know that if you go to Patreon, you can get some super duper insider information by subscribing to Patreon. And um, like you'll get a tour of that address 419 max Ant, it's on there in patreon and you can go look and see what the building looked like before uh construction which is kind of scary but um so that's on patreon check that out patreon slash dot com slash fly fishing and that's there and i'll be building the patreon even bigger uh, when i'm down there on my own time so of course going 530 miles uh, did I say happy 4th of July already? Golly, happy 4th of July again if I did. Going 560 miles south from here, 30 miles from Oklahoma down to 30 miles from Mexico. Kind of a big move for me. I've spent 40 years in North Texas, except for like 42, except for two years in California, which is a whole other story. Got my, you know, went to school at North Texas, journalism degree, all that stuff very uh, uh, second nature is Denton, Texas. I've spent a whole lot more years here. I left when I was 18, so that gives you an idea. But I'm going back, going back home. Fourth uh, of July was always a time when our family reunion happened on South Padre Island, and so it's, it's a coming home for me. And I didn't even know that how attached uh, I was genetically to Port Isabel, but that's another story for another time and the, uh, the other side of the family, the Patti side of the family. You can look it up if you want. It's kind of crazy. But um, I, I, just, I knew it, but I didn't think about it very much until I actually got into this move going back down there. So guys, the local scene, it's kind of hot right now. It's supposed to top out at 106 this week. I'm not going to go in. This is not really a fly fishing report. This is just an update. But uh, God, Dang, it's hot. It is so hot. Uh, so 106 is the top out. It's going to be over 100 every day this week. What you'll see is fish coming off the flats and out and going deeper about noon. So you can fish from like 8 a.m. You can fish any early as you want till about noon and then they start to come off because it's too hot and the bite dies down on the bass and everything else. I'm, I'm kind of freaking on bass a little bit because of... Uh, because of the one I caught about a month ago was a, was a state record uh, spotted bass and I let it go without knowing. I was so tired. It's the end of the day. I was heated up, overheated and everything. It just, it just, it just, I didn't even identify him. But, um, so there's that. It's hard not to keep coming back to Los Pescadores because of, of the ground we're going to cover down there and some fresh water we're going to cover. The Resacas. So I, I'd seen those resacas as a kid, but I hadn't thought much about them. But now, you know, with the uh, the Old Town canoe that I bought, the 11.9 Sportsman, it's perfect for that. Maybe uh, we'll get some fresh water action in while we're right there by the salt. Who knows how this is going to turn out? It's pretty exciting. I can't wait for you guys to go along on the ride with me. Um, also, uh, you know, there's tons of gear that I've, I'm getting now to, to do this uh, and other things. Drone, Z9, Nikon, uh, all kinds of stuff that's going to go into creating a better product for you guys, the viewers of this YouTube channel, Texas Flycaster. Please like and subscribe. And whatever other channels come out of this uh, journey, um, it's going to be pretty exciting. You know, we roll, it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be great. So, thanks for, thanks for coming in. Thanks for walking through this, meandering through this uh, update. And please let me know if there's anything I need to know about South Texas, South Padre Island, 
uh, lower Laguna Madre that I don't already know because we're there. <laughs>